Hey everybody, we are teaching Vermilion. Right now, we're going to look at how to export your painting to be used as either a picture or a 3D model outside of Vermilion. So once you've painted the painting and you've got it just the way you want it, we're going to export it out of Vermilion as a picture to be used as printed or in a, a desktop or however you want to use that graphic file. We can also export as a 3D model. Whether you want to import it into another program like Blender or Unity or use it as an asset for a game or something like that, we're going to use these, maybe put it into a Steam Workshop. We're going to look at export a final painting. Now, we can export as an image or as a model. As a model, there is currently one way to export it as one format. As an image, there's actually three different ways we could export this picture. And of those three ways, there are various resolutions that we can export in. So we'll talk about that too. So we're going to switch to headset view so you can actually look at the control panel we're going to use to export. And then we're going to look at the desktop view so we can see in the files and folders just where these things are going to end up. So here we go, switching to headset view to do some export in Vermilion. Hang on. Okay, so here we are in our headset view with our lovely painting just the way we want it. And here's our control panel. So I'm going to choose the third icon with this little arrow. That is the export toolbar. Export. So you can see we can export as a 3D model or as an image. Let's look at the 3D model first. So this would be to export to use in a program like Unity or something. So we have three settings, paint thickness. You can see how I really got a lot of thick paint. This actually will control how thick is it really. So if I turn it all the way down, you can see how it smoothed the whole painting. We still have the color variation, but no longer the depth. If I crank that back up, you can see how it adds the relief, the highlight and shadow, the thickness to the paint. It's also very shiny, very glossy. That's what this one does. If I turn it down, now you can still see the highlight and shadow, but it's no longer shiny. I don't have a spotlight on it. As I move this up and down, you can see how it affects the glossiness of my painting. Glossiness. Final one, stroke direction intensity. In some places, you can see the direction of my paint strokes. So this allows you to turn up or turn down. You can see all the way down, it's very smooth. All the way up, you can see those horizontal brush strokes a lot more clearly. Do you want to blend it in or sharpen it up? That's the intensity of your brush strokes. Very subtle. And reset defaults just put those all back to where they were to begin with. But now when I choose export as 3D model, it's going to take this painting and save it using the standard 3D formats called GLB and PNG. And I'm going to do that right now. Boink! And it will give me a message when it has finished exporting, exported, and where it's going to go. So it's made a folder. And it named the folder using the date and time that I click that button. So we've now exported this as a model and it's saved on my computer. That's it. I'm going to do the same process for an image. So instead of a 3D model, this is just going to save it as a regular picture file. I can then put it into Photoshop or other picture programs for use or even print it. You'll notice we have the option here, resolution, 2K, 4K, 8K. That's how fine detail, how fine quality the picture is going to be. At a higher number, it will print that much more clearly. So I could actually get a fine art quality print at the higher level. 
Now the mode will determine what the picture actually looks like. In studio photo, it's actually going to include the easel and the background. So it will be my canvas on an easel in a studio, studio photo. But it will give you the different resolutions for the different quality of picture. If I'm only going to put it on the internet, I can go at a lower quality. If I want to use it as maybe the picture on my 4K television or the high resolution computer screen, 4K resolution. A high quality art print needs to be super high resolution, even higher than the best screen. So an 8K picture will give you the best quality print. Studio photo gets the easel, so a gallery export Actually, let's export the studio photo, so we'll see what it looks like in the folder view. Exported. A gallery export. Now it's not going to get the easel, not going to get the wall. It's only going to be the picture itself. But you'll notice in my headset, if I move around, we've got that highlight. There's a light source above me reflecting off the picture. A gallery export keeps that reflection, keeps that light source. So when I export this, it's going to have a highlight in the center. It will change the way the color looks, but it will make it look like a painting in an environment. So a neutral export will get rid of that highlight, get rid of that light source. You'll only get the true color in the picture. This is really the one for a true high quality art print. If I want my desktop to look like a painting, I'll use the gallery so it looks like light reflecting off the painting with the highlights and shadows. But if I'm printing this as a quality art print, neutral at a high resolution will give me the truest version of the painting. It'll keep the texture, but I won't get that glossy highlight, which makes the colors look paler than the deep, rich purples I want. So I, the third one will be the neutral exported. So now I've got three pictures and a model exported of this purple and orange picture. So now that we've got this going, we're going to switch to our actual desktop folder view. I'm connected to a PC. Vermilion actually goes into my pictures and makes its own Vermilion paintings folder within my pictures. So let's take a look at that. Hang on everybody, here we go. Okay, so here we see our pictures folder in a folder called Vermilion paintings. These are the three pictures that I just exported. We can see how the studio painting picture has the easel around it. Whoops, let's grab the actual studio painting of the purple picture we just did. So you can see the easel and the studio around the actual painting. Studio export. Gallery export. See how this highlight up here, we can see the actual light reflection in the studio. That's not real, that's actually added on top of my painting. As opposed to the neutral, no glossy highlight. You can still see the texture, but we no longer have that fake highlight, fake light source. This is now the true colors that we painted with. Studio, gallery, neutral. Here in the same Vermilion Paintings folders, here's where the 3D models end up. And here's the one I just created. It's got the three PNG files containing the color, the glossiness, and the texture detail, and the actual GLB. So this is what we import into Unity or Blender, and these are what we're going to use for color and texture files all exported directly into Vermilion paintings in your pictures folder when you're connected to a PC. 
whether you're Rift or Steam VR, this is where they're going to end up. Let's go back to room view and finish up. So exporting your work from Vermilion, whether you want to use it in a 3D environment or you just want the picture itself, we've got a couple of different ways to choose from depending on how you want to use it. If you do export as a video or something, feel free to link in the comments below. We'd love to see what you do. If you do it in a 3D model, feel free to show us what sort of assets you're using it for, whether it's a game or a walkthrough or a VR environment like a Steam Home. We'd love to see your artwork and how it turned out. Let us know if you have questions or if you have got suggestions and requests for other lessons. But this is Oil Painting in Vermilion. Have fun, everybody. Thanks for watching.